Well guys, the old chaser. So yep, I'm back to the bottom. These are the fences. You gotta climb this one. And that one there you go under. There's me old trusty water bottle. Now what I didn't realise when I got here, I tell you what, I think Trump must have been here once. There's two fences here. There's not one, there's two. So he's trying to keep the Queenslanders out of New South Wales. And I don't blame him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a New South Wales reporter. So. But yeah, there's two fences here. So what I should have done, now that I know, like that track that I walked up, this first fence here is on the, be the southern side of the mountain. And obviously that barbed wire fence, which is the Queensland one, see, they don't let anyone in Queensland, but New South Wales, they're like, nah, we're not letting anyone in, especially them cane toads, keep out. So that one actually goes around to the, um, be the northern side. I should have bloody walked up there, but looks like it, and I might have got to it. Maybe I'll do it now. Oh, I don't know if I'm feeling fit enough to do it, but... Anyway, I'll climb over this fence and then I'll see how I feel. Alright. I was going to do it, but um, I'm not. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go wooden bong. Because you know what? I've just I've just realised something else. Is this oh, I like to go off track. I don't like firing the tracks. I'd rather go like in the bush because that's where I've, I've found more stuff doing that. Like, obviously, duh. Like you just don't find anything through that. I can't walk through that. That is a jungle probably where they are but you're not gonna get far so I'll go I'll go down here I'll go down the road a bit and see what else is down the road instead of doing that all right guys see you in an hour all right guys see this little track Serious problem if it is. I'm already sliding. Yeah, as I can see water. I'm trying to back out now, that'll be fun. Oh, she just, you know, go, go, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Crikey's! Whose idea was this? Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the phone down, guys. I'm in a spot of bother. Alright. I can't get out. <laughs> I nearly got all the way out, and then it bottomed out. And I was stuck up the top. I was nearly out too, I only had a little bit to go. But anyway, I got it off there and I got down back to the bottom. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to head over there, flat out, try and get through this creek. If I don't, I'm in serious shit. Oh no, here we go. Oh, I went for it. I was lucky. Yeah, I just can't, I can't back out that way. It's just not happening. Oh shit, this is soft too. Alright. Four wheel driving in a two wheel driving with no clearance. Let's do this. Let's get out. I might grab another gear, I think. Alright, there's no stopping. We're gonna go for it. Whoa! Stop me doing that shit! Get stuck more off road today! Oh shit! Alright. Bit of that was a uh, Yowie Chaser, two wheel drive, how to get out of a bog. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm an idiot. Well, we're out.
hopefully nothing's broken. Alright guys. Alright, so I'm gonna add the wooden bong, like I said. Sticking to the roads now. That wasn't even that bad, but it was just the angles. There was no um it was a bit sandy and a bit clay and then there was the driver's side dropped right off so because the underneath of the car was yeah, uh, scraping, so I tried to keep the driver's wheel in the middle, but it just kept sliding off all the time. I couldn't get out, so I had to go forward and try and do it forwards because backwards wasn't working. All right, anyway, let's go find the Yowie. Oh my guys, we've got five k's to go to get the wooden bomb. Someone asked me, like, about fuel, how much fuel do I spend? Well, this little car that I've got now, it's not even, it's not even mine. I've actually borrowed it, but anyway, it's going to be mine. It's a long story. But, um, the good thing about it is I don't even like these cars, but I drove in it, it's got heaps of power. I put about $40 in to fill it up. And I get 650 k's. And it's a van. I can sleep in it. So I could get a four wheel drive. I don't know what. I don't know. Diesel might be better, but it might cost you 100 bucks to fill up. I don't know, but I just like this little thing, eh? I've slept in it heaps of times. So this is the car that we we're going to use there. We we're supposed to be going down the bloody Tasmania, but I had a smash in it. I had to get it fixed. And I don't know. Everything's gone wrong since then. Then we come back. Then, oh, mate, seen the Whiffer and Yowie. Like, I was into it, but I wasn't like, didn't really go out every day looking for him. I'd keep an eye out for him, but I wasn't just going out looking for a bloody Yowie because I thought, oh, there's nothing left. They're, they're all dead, man, eh? So, thanks to Mr. Truck Driver. Probably scared the shit out of him, but now you've got me out looking for bloody Yowies, mate, too. <laughs> So yeah, that's what's happened. So, well, we were in March now. I was, I was supposed to be down in Tassie and heading back, but yeah, I'm still driving around here. So, yeah, anyway, so someone asked me about the fuel. So yeah, that's the that's the story. So I get about 650 k's for 40 bucks. You can't. It's too good. Otherwise, I couldn't afford to do it. So yeah, um, I did plan to go to Tannerfield, but because of all that rain that was coming, I didn't. I didn't end up going in case it got flooded out here, but I'll go, I might go out in the next couple of days. I want to go to um, Boogie Boogaloo or something, I don't know. Some place like that, National Park. I'm pretty sure, I think it's on this road. You follow this road, the Tenerfield. My daughter went there. She took a whole heap of photos of it. I said, where's that place? It just looks awesome. It looks like Yowie country. Anyway. We'll end this one. Start off fresh down the wooden bomb. Alright guys, catches. Man, that car was gone. Alright, cheers. So